So what's up, y'all? We have Hurricane Dorian affecting the southeastern regions of the United States. We're gonna go ahead, see if we can harvest some iguanas for some survival food. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, we got him. Oh, whoa. Nice one. Good eye of spotting her. Good job grabbing her because every bit of it. Oh yeah. Look at it that. makes the big leaf, big big leaf. They've eaten every bit of it. So as you guys know, iguanas are invasive species to South Florida, and they are extremely destructive. They reproduce like crazy, and there are no natural predators. Though iguanas are responsible for making some native plant species threatened, and also endangering the habitat of the endangered Florida burrowing owl. One of our iguanas that we shot only has three feet. Totally lost the whole foot. Healed over and everything. Oh. That was it. Nice. Like a um possum or raccoon. Good stuff. It's like this is the inside of the bone and this is the outside of the bone. So this is the right bottom jaw. Oh. A shih tzu and a poodle, right? Yeah. It's a shih tzu. Cutest little poof. What are you doing, poof? I'm gonna pitch. Man, oh, oh, oh. Stop. Maybe Man. she's scared of the ladder or something. She's spicy. Usually she goes to You'd be a good iguana hunting dog, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. Oh, she peed. Oh. My goodness. Coco is extra cute. See? Going to the street. Ooh, right there. Look at that thing. That's another invasive right there, guys. That is a snakehead right there. You see so that? snakeheads are extremely destructive. They eat all of Florida's native freshwater fish. Dang, I don't know if the water slowed down the bullet or not. First five minutes and we already got lunch in the bag. Let's go see what else we can catch. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh my God. some new pellets. Oh yeah? They're a little bit higher grain. And I think that they work a little better for the larger iguanas. They're a little more expensive, but um, I'm not sure that I'm gonna stick with them because I think that the, the, the copper centerpiece separates from the jacket and then ricochets. Okay, okay. And okay. so that's my concern is ricocheting. But when I've been getting big iguanas, uh, these bullets have been really nice with a one real clean hit and kill. A stink horn. A Come what? See. Come see. What is that? That's a stinkhorn mushroom. See all the flies on it because it stinks? That's a mushroom? It's a mushroom. It's a multi-column stinkhorn. They smell awful. When I was in college, the first one I found, I thought it was so cool. I brought it home to ID it and put it in the house. And all my friends came over and was like, why the hell does the house smell so bad? What does it smell like? I can't smell it. I'm not I couldn't asking. smell it. You can't smell it either. I can't remember what it is. It's like a smell. rotten flesh type smell. Oh my God. I'm with Jessica from Iguana Solutions. She knows a little bit about everything, guys. Fish, mushrooms, iguanas. Where? Iguana right. See? Yeah, I see one. This right is where here. the guy was that chased away my iguanas yesterday. Oh, this infamous spot right here. This is where the big boys be at, too, ain't it? Yeah, he chased them. You should see how many he was chasing away yesterday. And I still got five right here in like 10 minutes. So look, see, see. Wow. So that's what we're doing. There's five, so you might one, have to back two, up and I'm gonna uh, three, shoot four. over here. There's one right there. Dude, there's two right here. Bro. I know, I'm trying to get it. What the heck? Let's see. Let's get him. Yes, this is insane. I told her I was going to do it this way today. Oh. Oh. You see? It's just one shot, one of one. One. No, my wheels just turned. You didn't feel it? Yeah. Ooh, look at this nice red iguana right here. Nice. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Gas, my truck's been running, guys. Oh. Now all of a sudden, this hurricane type weather just came out of nowhere.
Oh! Oh! oh gosh. Hey boy. Oh my gosh. But probably like 12 or 13. He cut me really good with his claws. Oh. My customer told me she got a present for me and put it on top of the iguana trap. So when I showed up, I didn't know he was there. The iguanas are named Jimmy, if you didn't know. Jimmy hangs out with Jimmy, and there's Jimmy in the truck, and you gotta put Jimmy with Jimmy, cause Jimmy's hanging out with Jimmy. <laughs> um, I don't know. The, yeah, I think we got 15 today, and I got 15 yesterday, so 30 in about One, two, two, two and a half three. hours. Hello, look at this right here. They're heavy, man. They can do a little workout right here. We are gonna go ahead and prepare some of these iguanas for a fried iguana cook-off. So we are over here at my uncle's house, and as you guys can see, we have a lot of work. So, oh, oh. all right, you guys, real quick, I'm gonna show you guys how to skin an iguana tail. Make sure you have a nice serrated knife and go against the grain. Whenever you're doing this, always make sure that you cut away from you and make skinning this tail just that much easier. Oh well, guys, this is probably a medium sized iguana right here. And you guys are seeing that the skin comes off a lot easier. Two, three, there we go. Look at that, you guys. That was pretty easy. And just like that, where it breaks, it's where you wanna stop cutting right there because the meat gets really thin. Look at all these tails that we got right here, guys. Different colored iguana legs right here. We have a gray one, we have a leopard one, we have a green one, and we have a red one. It's very beautiful. The colors and patterns of the reptiles. Mm -hmm. Absolutely spectacular, guys. All the meat in between the skin. Four. Like that, guys. Perfect piece of iguana wing right there. You guys, the grocery list for this recipe, y'all. You're gonna need one bottle of Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. And then you just need some all-purpose seasoning. Right here, we have the classic, great value wing seasoning. We have about five pounds of freshly skinned iguana. And all the iguana inside here. All these wings. But bam Hey, wait, wait, don't put it all. Oh, oh, okay. Let's get a little bit in there. Okay. Mix it up so we can get some of the top to the bottom. Sounds about right. Sure, we got Shirley Dillon in the house. We got our, what is that? <laughs> Goya, adobo, and black pepper. Where's the salt? That's that five. So now to simulate a hurricane survival situation, oh, we're gonna show you guys how to make an outdoor kitchen. Once you have your tabletop, you need to get a gas stove or a stove that you can plug to your generator. Looking pretty good. More flour there. Check that out, y'all. What are your thoughts right now, Dylan? I think it's gonna be really good. I, I know, I, you know what? I know it's gonna be really good. Let's just see, we got our first iguana leg or iguana wing. Pop it right in the frying pan. Oh, there we go. Now it's time to get it cracking. Jesus. You're gonna need a paper napkin to dry the oil off too. Ooh, that looks That tasty. smells good, bro. No cap, that smells really good. Fried chicken right now. Like, Let, can I, should I put lemon in the oil? No, it was perfect. Look at that. That piece is gonna be the best. <laughs> that powdered sugar? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that smells so good. Are you guys ready to see this? Ooh, that's nice. Like another. These things look like wings for real, bro. Does the final product look good? Drop a comment and let me know. It's like eight people. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. It's pretty good. Look, we still, we still got it's more good. cooking though. One time for the one time. This is my first time trying fried iguana wings. Really don't know what to expect, but surprisingly, they were really crispy on the outside and super juicy and tender on the inside. 
kind of like a chicken wing. They go ahead and fry it and season it well. You don't even got to use buffalo. No, you don't. Even, there's a ton of different sauces you guys can use for this recipe. Like I said, I've never. This is my first time really trying this right here. Everybody else is satisfied. It's really quiet right now because everybody's eating. You know what I'm saying? This explains a lot. <laughs> From what's left? <laughs> oh, that's what's left. That's flour. <laughs> So as I mentioned, iguanas are extremely invasive here in South Florida. They cause a lot of damage and they repopulate like crazy. If this was a real life survival situation, we will most definitely be able to survive because we would catch and eat as many iguanas as we could to sustain life. Let me know, would you?